What's up everybody, once again it's Sean Taylor and about a month ago somebody asked me in my Instagram comments or YouTube comments to do a video on mystery, like artist and mystery and I gotta start here. Most artists actually kill their careers before they even start trying to be mysterious. What do I mean by that? People have to know you to want to know more about you, right? If they don't know you, you can't be mysterious to them. And most people are so busy trying to be mysterious and in the shadows and not going out a lot and things like that and not putting their work out. Nobody gives a damn. People have to know you before you can become mysterious. So I had to make that point right quick. But for now, let's go over the three types of mystery. So starting with number one, knowledge. It's all about people have to know enough about you, kind of like I said earlier, to want to know more about you. You have to leave them wanting more. You're getting out there, but you leave people wanting more by not giving it all to them. You gotta tease people, right? Mystery is the art of crowd seduction. You want to seduce a large amount of people, and think about the last time you were seduced, like a girl or a guy just had you kind of going like, ugh. You wanted some more of them, you had a little bit. You gotta tease, you got little blue balls. That's what mystery is about. You have to give the crowd blue balls. Number two, behavioral. Behavior in terms of mystery is all about acting a little bit different than the norm, right? Going against the grain or just not being how people expect you to be. It might be not showing up to an award show people would expect you to show up to or just not um, get, taking a lot of interviews in the beginning when people think you're trying to get on or just doing things that seem offbeat. But be careful because when you're going completely against the grain, going against the grain and being rebellious is a totally different type of branding than being mysterious, right? Mysterious is more like walking to the beat of your own drum, whereas if you always go opposite and it just seems like that's your thing, then you don't become mysterious, you just become rebellious. You'll understand a lot more of that when we get into the series. Number three, environmental. Environmental is the easiest thing for most people to do. And when I say environmental, there's two types. Visual is number one. So in terms of visual, that's just that aesthetic that you see most people do, right? People use some of these techniques to make things look mysterious when they look at the artwork for the album or mixtape or whatever you got going on or dressing mysterious, however that might look, using color schemes and things like that, which we'll go over for mysterious visual elements. We have a video on that too, just to create that mystery. The second type is so, so underutilized. The Weeknd is actually one of the few people that I know that uses number two, which is music. Using your music, auditory mystery, by creating this environment, if your music, this atmosphere that feels like another world. The weekend does this very well with his projects and even individual songs. Everything feels like this immersive, dark environment, especially at the beginning of his career. So you can create an environment in your music if you want to as well. Those are the three general types of music. Once again, I said um, over this month, I decided I'm going to go ahead and do it seriously and do a five part series, not including this video, technically six part series on mystery and how artists become mysterious, right? So we're going to cover people like Prince, The Weeknd, and Sia. Trust me, what you think makes them mysterious isn't exactly what you think does. So it's super worth watching. Make sure you do. Other than that, you know what to do. Subscribe. There's like a little circle in the corner somewhere. And also hit the uh, bell button wherever it is. Apparently now YouTube changed your settings and if you don't hit the bell button, YouTube isn't actually going to let you know on your homepage when I put out a new video for the mystery series or something like that. So if you don't want to miss them, hit that thing. Otherwise, have a great one.